Hello everyone! Guess where I'm back in again! Subnautica! Doing something different this time. Starting, as you see, in the life pod. This is a brand new game. I'll take you through a construction of my new base. And show you some of the new things that have been added to the experimental mode in the last week. As you notice at the top there, still got a problem with that, we have story text lines that show up at the top of the screen. And I'll get to that in a minute, but let me outfit my character real quick. So I'll be prepped to head over to the northern island where I'm going to put my base again. All of these items that I'm dealing with right now will be updated when I get my workbench. Flippers and the air tank. I always get those updated. Actually, I want my sea glide first. There we go. I'll get that mobile vehicle bay when I get over there. I don't need it at the moment. Put my builder second. Still got it forming in a table, which I was fixed. Uh, welder, yep. Need that. Fix that freaking sparking over there. Propulsion cannon. And a knife for later. Don't. Well, I do need a terraformer. I don't need the stasis rifle at the moment. As well as. A battery. Actually, I might as well go ahead and get these right now. As far, so I'll have them for later. One computer chip, silicone rubber, and titanium. Oops! Why did that close before it finished? <laughs> All right, let's fix this sparking. Now this is an issue I've I reported months ago. I wish it was fixed. You can come over here and use your welder on it to stop the spark. It would be nice to finally get around to taking this up here and welding it back to the wire so it's completely fixed, then putting this back on the wall and having it all done. As well as getting rid of the smoke and the continuous sparking sounds in here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I had a welder. I should have checked. And a computer chip and a battery. Hmm. Well, I'll take the battery. Now, you notice those messages at the top of the screen that keep popping up. In the experimental mode, we now have the log. See, we always have the blueprints. But we have the log. And everything that you see that appears at the top of the screen up here shows up in your log. So you can read through what's there. Broadcasting automated distress call. Message reach. This is the Aurora Life Body. LifePod 5, located at coordinates so-and-so. Routine mission interrupted by unknown failure. Send help! And once I go outside, I'll start receiving some more. In a minute. And now we have the long-distance viewing set back into the game. So you can see the floating island over there. So you know exactly where it is. You don't have to guess. And the northern island over there. So now you don't have to go, where is that island? Well, just head that way. And as you can see, it, it is southwest. It's always been southwest, straight from spawn here. We have new sound effects added in for the various explosions of the aurora. Of course, one of them sounds like a little thunderbolt. Thunder Clash. Uh, it's definitely from that. You know, the sky rays above. I think they fixed it so they don't dive into the water and drown anymore. Wait to see uh, when the. There's one. Boom. I'm hoping that the. PDA will show that information. There's one. Final signs nominal. Immediate survival priority satisfied. Updating and reporting priority list. Survival priority report. Locate other survivors. None available. Survey the environment. Done. Actually, I haven't done that yet. 
Administer first aid if appropriate. No major injuries sustained. Access food and water availability and decide on rations. Check life pod for damage and repair if appropriate. Send automated short range distress signal. I guess that's the, what the pod does automatically. Gather and take stock of available materials. In progress. Yes. Scanning the Aurora. Zero line if possible, locate a long range relay and rebroadcast your distress signal. The main drive Use survival equipment to render the local environment the sustainable. The dark matter containment field has dropped to 36% amplitude. Continuing to monitor. See, I have everything that it just showed appears in your PDA. So you can easily go back and look. And even the Aurora's messages show. <laughs> so let's head over to the Northern Island. Get them all! I'll be glad when, if they ever get around to do a cannonball animation, it'd be freaking awesome. I love that. Now I'm going to go to speed 2 to speed this up. Oh yeah, we got this problem right now in environment, in uh, experimental. See, normally this is how you see the world with your sea glide. But, so for some reason, the view has been unlocked, so... <laughs> it appears like this. And if you look straight down, you got the sea moth... The sea glide in your body. If you look straight up, it appears in your... appears overhead. You can look inside of it. <laughs> it's a real mess. So for me, the easiest way is just to get rid of it off the screen while I'm going forward. And now I'll just head over to the island. I want to rebuild my base right below it. Not on the arch like last time. I'm going to put it closer to the island itself. I have to get rid of the biters over here, though. They are a pain. And the bad thing is, we have another biter coming into the game real soon. Biter version 2.0, or whatever his name is. It's brown with a red light on its head. Like, we need more of these little annoyances in the game. Okay, we are here. Uh, if I can stop doing that. Now i got to find these little buggers and get rid of them so I don't have to worry about them while I'm building my base here. Let's see. There's one. Go away. Uh, I hear him. Just can't see where he's at. There he is. Go away. I heard another one. Oh, there he is. He's chasing me. Go away. Okay, I should be pretty good. Now, there's a slight hitch in the graphics with the very first thing that you build in the game. They call it because I was told that when you click on it, it actually loads all of the things in your menu at the same time. So you don't have to have a load for each one. Uh oh. Wait a minute. I could have sworn I just heard one. I'm hearing things. Anyway, watch. Three, two, there. See, there's a problem with that. Okay, it's a little dark. I don't want to. I'm still on speed two. Hmm. If I speed everything up, the aurora blows up real quick. That's the problem. Oh well, I'll put my base down for in the meantime. And put a tube there. Found a problem with the windows and hatches on the sun. I knew it! I thought I heard one. Go away. Man, these little buggers. On the side here. They're too far into the metal, so they're not showing fully. See, watch. If you put one right here, see, it's fine there. But it's only on the sides. So I'll have to do a report on that on Trello. Oh, God. Another one? Really? Jeez. Where is he? Where'd he go? 
Oh, there he is. Go away. Alright, let's go back to speed one so time doesn't move so fast. And we'll put a normal tube here. Caution. Readings from the Aurora suggest erratic fluctuations in the primary dark matter containment top. field. A breach of the main drive chamber may cause a cascading quantum flux detonation. Really? I think we know that. Even windows do it. I forgot to show you that. Let's see, watch. If I put a window on the side here, see half of it's clipping into the metal. It's not supposed to be doing that. Could be the reason why some people are having fabricators move on them when they put them on the inside of the generic room. If they put them on the side areas right here, that might be the problem. I'll have to check on that. Okay, good there. I'll add a glass one here. Come on, there we go. A glass quarter there. I think I might have put this base back in the proper location, like I did last time. Guess I could. All right, and I'll add my observatory on the end. In one little, I need a, just in case I ever need it, a hatch there, and a hatch there. Need to build a power source in a minute. Actually, I'll do that in a second. Let me get this in place. I can go ahead and do this entirely. Heck of it. Build my tunnel over to the island. Alright. I've done... I've made a base like this in creative mode. Which is the same as any other mode, but you don't have to deal with food, hunger, creatures killing you, so forth and so on. I'll finish that from the inside. Where's my window? There it is. Actually, let's see, I'll put one right here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes, I did build it properly this time. It won't be in the rock on the beach. Go ahead and finish this up, and then I'll go power and base. As you see up top there, it says power is zero. You can fix that very easily. I recommend using the nuclear generator. It gives you the most power and freedom, and you don't have to worry about solar panels and such. Okay, that should be good right there. Yeah, excellent. Head back into the base here. There's the Aurora. I hear a biter below. Oh. Gotta put my ladder in play. There we go. Put a fabricator right here. Put my fragment analyzer down. Now I could go out and find all the fragments, but it would take it would be a long video. I'm not gonna do that right now. But I do need the nuclear reactor. And the moon pool. Oops. <laughs> I did not spell that right. There we go. Throw the fragments in play. Now, a, a nice little trick. Let's see. If you ever want to get rid of items in your inventory just build you a locker it doesn't it could be the big one or a small one you just throw them into the locker and then and then deconstruct it and they're gone actually put a hatch right here there you, uh oh hmm interesting 
That's not supposed to be there. I wonder if I... It's blocked. See? See, there's a problem right there. If you have plant, plants in your hatchway, they get blocked. Actually, I need to make a note of that. So, I'll have to get rid of this hatch. Can't use that there. Hmm. What a shame. So I'll put that back in the moon pool. Get that going while I build my nuclear reactor. There it is. And how far can I go over? Let's go right there. Now, in freedom mode, as most people think, oh, I'm in freedom mode, i got to go find all the pieces, you know, which are called for uranium and disinfected water, you know, just double-click. It's on! Bingo! You have all the power you need. Power restored. All primary systems online. All right. Wait for the moon pool to form here. New technology acquired. Good. Add my moon pool in play. There we go. Somebody was mentioning an interesting thing. I'll have to try it out here in a minute. Now, I do know... I'll put it there. Actually, that didn't look right. Wait, let's see that again. Yeah, it's too deep, too. Huh. Interesting. Better make a note of that. Hmm. Well, maybe not. Still, I guess you normally do them from the inside, but you can do them from the outside, too. Doesn't matter. Add in my upgrade console. Now, I do need fabricator here and to build a vehicle bay or the constructor yeah, I don't they changed it recently as you can see the name is now mobile vehicle bay it used to be the constructor I don't know what the deal is with the new wording add that Quick launch and let it go. And it's faced the wrong way again. See, it's supposed to face toward deep water, and it's not doing that. So you got to turn it around slowly. If you hit it too hard, it'll really spin on you. Mm, let's go a little bit more, just a bit, because I don't want my. Oh, see, I hit it too hard. See, that should be okay there. Yeah, it won't. My Cyclops, when I build it, it won't crash down on top of the moon pool. They've added animations to climbing in and out of the sea moth while in either the moon pool or the Cyclops. But I was looking at them, and there are issues that need to be worked on. I'll show you. See, see, right now the arms on the grabber are up, which is good because before they were always in a down position. She always picks the wrong time to start talking. Yada yada. With a probability of eighty-three point five percent. Yeah, you could. It should be one hundred percent because it will blow up. But if I get near the pool, they drop. Watch, see. They shouldn't do that. I'm not even near it yet. It's not until un un I'm underneath and they should come down. But and there, that should be making that sound because that's usually what happens when you dock with it. There, I climb out, and there, I finally show up where I'm supposed to be. Problem is, he's climbing through the roof here. This hatch does not pop up, so it looks a little weird. But when you get in, watch this. Oh. If 
fixed it. <laughs> Interesting. It might be in the Cyclops only. Let's see. I'll have to try that in a little bit. I think it was. I think it was the Cyclops. When I got in, I was actually below the steering wheel, clipping into the base of the Seamoth. So let's go ahead and change its name back to it. Oop, that's not what I want. I want to click on that. Alright, and change the color. Go with my Red Dwarf theme of green. Because Red Dwarf, it's, sea, it's Space Bug. And the name. I wish you can get a bright yellow on the name, but you can't. So you can see it's very dull yellow. Interior. Go for a light blue so you can see it flashing in there. And the main stripe. Let's go for something flashy. Same with this one. Yeah, I'll go for that one. There you go. Red. Now. Workbench. Get this going so I can have my new, my proper tools. Earlier, I tried to create a constructor or mobile vehicle bay in the fabricator while having a bioreactor outside instead of the nuclear. It just sucked all the power right out of it. And the funny thing is, it still made it, but it didn't show the building animation, so that was very strange. Uh, okay, put this in play. Alright, and turn off that. So now I can create these things and it'll pull everything out of my inventory. Oh, I don't have titanium. Mm, oh well, I'll do that later. Oh, I wouldn't bring those over. If you ever have flippers, I wish it would just take your flippers that are in your paper doll and change them instead of having to drag them to or shift click over and bring them into your inventory to change them. I would change my propulsion, but I want actually want both of them because there's a fun little thing I want to show you. Okay. Now, let's see, that's all done. I still got to make a Cyclops. Get around to that in a minute. Okay. Any fish schools over here? Yep, I see one to my left. One of the annoying things about the biters is they'll come right out of the water and get and try to get you. Let's see, I think there's one right here. Maybe not. Okay, which one is which here? Propulsion. Make sure that's four. Yes. You can fly. You can fly with fish schools. Watch. There you go. I'm away. As long as you use the propulsion cannon, you can you can f literally fly with a school. My friend Mr. Pyrox, who has a video YouTube video channel and posts some, occasionally posts some Subnautica videos, he found this little funny bug. Oh, you can. Okay, as long as you drop them, you can grab them again. Okay, that's nice. They're falling with me. Oh, they fell faster than I could. Splash down. From the Aurora show severe instability in the primary drive core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state. In T minus. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, if I can terraform six, these things away. Five, yes, four, I can. Alright. There's my builder. Pretty good place. I wasn't really affected by it that much. 
That's much better. Now they're not. Now it's not blocked. Good, good. Oh, that's. Oh, it is blocked. Look at that. I'm not. I was able to get in, but I can't get out. You can get in, but you. Can, they can, they can get in, but you can't. They can't get out. Let's try this again. That's strange. It's just right here below. I forgot to mention this. Here's the new terraform model. I might have showed that before, but. It now has animations. If I hold my shift button, it pops up. And when it digs... It could be that rock that's blocking it, since I can't get rid of it. Hmm. I'll have to try and see if it's the rock. We'll find out here. Yeah, it could be. See, I'm I'm butting up against the rock right here. I can't get in. I can click on it to go inside, but once once inside, I can't go out. Yeah, it's the rock. Okay, that makes sense. Oh well, just have to leave it alone. Can't put a hatch there. Oh well, that sucks. That sucks, man. We have the sea treaders are coming soon. The funny thing is, they'll be able to poop. I don't know why Oproxis made a pooping mechanic, but you can see animations of them on Trello. Uh, there's a Steam discussion forum thread on it. Somebody posted to his video, his YouTube video, of the animations. We're all guessing that the pooping will have something to do with farming. You'll have to collect the poop for you know, mulch and whatever. We also have the Shocker, which is coming soon. I showed you that before. He has some new animations. And what I'm going to do now is speed up time here so I can have some sunlight. Just wait a minute here. There we go. Oh, I hear you. Where is he? Suddenly we have... So the buggers do respawn. They come back, that's for sure. Because I got rid of the... Biters in this area. You saw me do that. I launched your buggers out of here. Yeah, I just heard one. There he is. Go away. <laughs> Get away from my base. I heard another one is if I spawn a shocker he's going to get in the way alright we're fine at the moment let me go up here and save my game what was that wait huh weird it sounded like a breathing from an air mask it was like the shocker now has new animations There he is. And I'm going to put no damage on so he won't kill me. The only problem I don't like about this new... I, I like everything about the Shocker Eel, except for the sound effects it makes. Listen, you hear that zapping? That's... that you, can, you would only hear that type of electrical arcing in an open-air environment. You're not going to hear it underwater at all, so it doesn't make any sense to hear that. Plus the zapping when he when he hits you. That's that's an open air electrical arc type sound. Jeez, here comes another one. Let's see if I can hit him. And he's dead. Yeah. Uh, if you watch an electrical eel video. And when they shock creatures, shock fish underwater, it's a very different sound. It does not sound like that at all. And when they do shock some, it's like a, a loud pop. Because that's what the electrical hit would be. It's like, pow! And that fish is dead. So, it really, and these electrical arcs themselves would not be visible underwater like that either. 
I mean, sure, they could, you could say, yeah, they're biological and so forth, but it still doesn't make sense. They would just be glowing balls, like an electrical eel, and you get close, you get a powerful energy bla uh, hit by it. And they do some serious damage here, I'll show you. Take my no damage off. Right now, they hurt. One, 41 percent. Two, 26 percent. Let me, uh, actually, let me give you a... Oops. I have enough. Wait a minute. Try this again. There we go. Now you can see a true representation. I can get him to hit me. Come here, you. There. 85. What? Now, the first time I got hit by... Does it ma I wonder if it matters where he hits you. Hmm. Let me see. Ugh. Can't get near his tail. There. 70%. So... Oh, okay, it does matter. Oh, okay, that makes sense. If he bites you with electricity, then it it, it really hurts. It's like I had a hundred. I was at a hundred percent in my last time I was in the game, and it took me down to fifty-five percent. You saw that time, it was a real dramatic drop. Actually, instead, of, it only makes one at a time. I wish you could do multiples. First aid kit four. Four. There we go. Okay, I'm a hundred. Where are you at? Ooh, yeah, fifty there, fifty five percent. But on the tail or the body it doesn't hit you as much. Let's see. Forty percent. But if he got me now, head on, I'd be dead. Find out. We'll find out right now. He seems to ignore. Oh, ten percent. Yep. Yep. Wow. See, they're 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 a little too deadly. Oh, see, he what? He got me right through the module there. That's was something I meant to tell tell you too. They can hurt you through a module, and they shouldn't be able to do that. Titanium is not conductive at all, uh, so it you you can stand anywhere in your base, and they shouldn't be able to hurt you. The problem is their entire body is like a ghost; you can clip right through it, and then that problem is like with the Reaper and other creatures; their bodies clip through anything that they come in contact with. So if I'm standing here near this wall or whatever, and his bo body his tail clips through, I get hurt. Reapers used to be able to do that, and their body still can clip through a base module, but their deadly portion, their head, they can't do that anymore. So, I have to, I have to work on the... There he is. I always wonder where that bugger was. It's right there by the tube. Hmm. I need to get rid of this ugly haze on the window here. It's the old coral, safe shallows texture. Where is he gonna go? Where is he gonna go? He's under. Yep, see, see, I got hurt. That was not right. So, at least I got a picture of it. Now I can put a Trello card up. Come here, you. Ah, oh, he's going out again. Um, we also have two variations of cave crawlers coming. One looks like the normal one we have, but it's brown in coloring. Then we have this overly long-legged version, I guess, that's going to be in the blood kelp zone, I can only assume. 
he looks silly. The the long legs don't make any sense. He's just like a cave prowler on stilts. That's basically what it looks like. And we have, of course, I mentioned we have the sea treader coming soon. We also have there he is. We have the crab squid and crab snake on the way as well. The crab snake is in the entity gallery. It looks like a pink cigar. <laughs> it has no animations at the moment. Lastly, as I mentioned before, we got another biter coming, so that's unneeded. That's weird, though. The biters don't range out. See, you know saying? He just sits there floating uh, until he has a prey to go after, which is always you. Oh, hello. He actually tried to zap me, but he didn't hurt. That was odd. But the, the, the biters, they don't range out. <coughs> and they're o they only go after you. Which doesn't make any sense. They're native to this world. You're an alien in the environment. Why would they only go... They don't even know who you are. So why would they only be attracted to your character? So, it's a little weird on that. Crashfish will go after anything that gets near them. So, they need to be... The biters need to be like crashfish. They'll go after big prey. Even Reginald's. And here's a Reginald over there. Why wouldn't the, the biter go after him? Oh, here he comes. He's getting locked up on the boundary boxes around the modules. He's under the moon pool. Oh, I did need to... Let me see here. Hold on, I'm going to put on my no damage so I don't get killed by him when I go out. Welcome aboard, <laughs> That's so silly. It says welcome aboard when I dive into the water. I wonder if he can hurt you while you stand on this. Probably won't come to the surface. And I'll build my Cyclops. Probably haven't seen that in a long time, have you? The interior of the Cyclops. Power has already been restored. <laughs> it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. Now I'll go get my sea moth. We got a nasty bug with the sea moth right now, and I'll show you. Actually, anything can hurt you in a sea moth, and it's really stupid. Even uh, a reaper. I mean, uh, shocker. See, the shocker actually cannot. Oh, see, he should not be able to hurt you in a sea moth, considering it's made of titanium and not conductive. Ow! But we have new docking animations. Got to. I got to take some pictures of that. The problem is, when he climbs out, he's climbing up a non-existent ladder, and he's going through this ring right here on the side. It's basically a, a cut-down version of the moon pool jump out, and it looks very silly. When he climbs in, he goes right through the roof, and now he's in the floorboard! <laughs> See, that's what I was talking about. I gotta, I gotta do some animation reporting on this. And when you climb out right there again, you're still not attached to the the sea moth itself, so your hands are in a sitting position when you climb out. But that's basically it for now. And when we get the new water and lighting and more creatures and such, I'll do another video and I'll see you then. Take care.